event with some incredible people. However, though, I'm the worst in networking environments. I don't know what it is. I just, I like clam up. I can't talk. I get nervous. I don't know something about it. What do you tell the people that when they get around a lot of people, they just don't, it just becomes very difficult for them to open up versus when you're in the small environments. There's just something about being around people that, that I don't know. I just do. I'm horrible at it. So, um, you know, a lot of people will ask me, um, or they'll say to me, you know, I'm an introvert. I have a hard time networking. I have a hard time connecting with people. And I understand that. Um, I'll tell you a true story about 15 years ago. And you can find this on my blog. If you go to IvanMeisner.com, you can find this article. I'll give you the title of it in a minute. Um, it was probably 15 years ago, maybe a couple more than that. And um, I was at home with my uh, late wife in L.A. and, and um uh, we were talking. It was one of the few nights where the kids were at some school event that we didn't have to be at. And, and it was just the two of us. It was really nice. And I said something, I don't even remember the topic, but I said something about, oh, well, honey, you know me, I'm such a, uh, an extrovert. And she said, um, no, you're not. And I'm like, what? Of course I'm an extrovert. I, I run the world's largest networking organization. <laughs> I'm a keynote speaker. Of course, I'm an extrovert. And she's like, hey, whatever you say, sweetie, but, you know, not so much. And so I'm getting annoyed with her because, she, you know, she's telling me that I'm basically an introvert. And she's reading this book called The Introvert and Extrovert of Love. And she's telling me how I'm an introvert. And one of the things in there is that you uh, introverts uh, recharge their bi batteries by being alone. And I'm like, well, that kind of sounds like me. But, you know, I am not an introvert. So I go into my office uh, in, in L.A., in my, in my home office. And I get on uh, Google and I find a test and I take this test and it says, congratulations, Ivan Meisner. You are an introvert who is a situational extrovert. And that blew my mind. By the way, the article is OMG, I'm an introvert. You can find this at IvanMeisner.com. I wrote it the next day. Um, and it hit me the kind of network I started. You know, I could have started anything big mixers, hundreds of people mingling, but no, I get uncomfortable meeting people in a large environment. Um, I have this technique where I, and, and it's like so much fell in line for me when, when I realized this, I have this technique where when I go to uh, a networking event that I, you know, a large networking event, and I don't know a lot of people, I have someone introduce me around. Somebody who knows the people, or if it's at a BNI event, uh, you know, somebody who is is helping to run that BNI event, I have them walk me around and introduce me because I don't like just walking up to strangers and introducing myself. So I am here to tell you that introverts can be just as good. A lot of people think I'm pretty good at networking. Introverts, I believe, can be. And by the way, it said you're a situational sure. extrovert. So when you are talking about a topic that you are passionate about, you come across as an extrovert. Otherwise you're an introvert. Go apologize to your wife. It didn't say that, but I did. So um, it, it, um, the thing with being a situational um, introvert is that uh, I created a network that was about having, you know, smaller groups of people, 30, 40, you know, sometimes less, sometimes more. Uh, we meet every week, you get to know each other, you build relationships. And, and it, it hit me, you know, this is perfect really for introverts. Introverts can be great at networking because I think a, a good networker has two ears and one mouth and uses them both proportionately. So um, introverts are really good listeners. They're better listeners than extroverts. Extroverts love to talk. And what's their favorite subject? About themselves. <laughs> <laughs> themselves, yeah. So, um, you know, introverts and extroverts have a strength and a weakness when, when it comes to networking. Extroverts have no problem meeting people, but their favorite topic is themselves. Introverts have a hard time meeting people, but they're good listening. A, you know, good networker, two ears, one mouth, uses them both proportionally. So um, I think being an introvert is fine. There are techniques that you can use to help you uh, connect with people more effectively. Wow, that was awesome. I, that actually makes me feel so much better. I have to say, I forced myself to network yeah. in Austin, and it's exhausting mentally. I can't yeah. force myself where I'm not. Like, I would rather be a listener, but uh, 